thousands of animals live at the North Carolina Zoo and sometimes just like us, they get a little sick, they have an injury and they need some help. Well, some are easy to treat like the little sand cats, but others like the big lions, that's a lot more challenging. Shannon Smith shows us how the veterinarians care for them all in today's Zoo Files. So welcome to the hospital. This is the Haynes Veterinary Hospital of the North Carolina Zoo. Chief Veterinarian Dr. J.B. Mentor and his staff care for more than a thousand animals at the North Carolina Zoo, from the tiny dart frogs to the two-ton elephants. The thing that I really love the most is that every day is different. Keepers bring most of the animals into the zoo's hospital for treatment. On one zoo files visit, we watched a red wolf operation. Then on a different day, we stood back as keepers wrangled a snake for an examination. We have a full time laboratory. We've got treatment rooms. We've got surgery suites, um, so radiology. So we've got everything that you would think that would happen in a normal hospital happens here. But not all animals can come into the hospital like the elephants, rhinos, and polar bears. They are just too big to move for any kind of procedures. Sometimes I have to be able to take the entire hospital and transport it out into the park to do diagnostics. So again, radiograph machine here, but I also have a portable unit that I can take out into the park. In addition to treating sick and injured animals, the vet staff also gives all the animals yearly checkups. So we've got a really robust preventative health program, which basically keeps all the animals that we currently have as healthy as they can be. Just like you and I go to the doctor once once a year, hopefully, um, our animals go to the doctor once a year. The health of the animals proves the quality of the care here. For example, Tammy's one of the oldest chimpanzees in the country. She survived a liver abscess thanks to her keepers and the vet staff. We had to give her the antibiotics and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because <laughs> the drugs didn't taste very well. So we were like, OK, well, she, you've got to take these antibiotics. And yeah, we put them in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and that's how she took them. And she's just one of many animals enjoying a nice long life here. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. The whole thing about the PB&J, Lindsay says it works for her. So, <laughs> I did so, say that. <laughs> you know, it's effective. If you want to look behind the scenes at the zoo's hospital, interesting way to do that. Follow the chief veterinarian, Dr. J.B. Mentor, on Instagram. See a lot more behind the scenes stuff.